thank you, Hadi. Um, my name is Abu, uh, and uh, so um, I should point out that uh, what Village Energy is doing right now is uh, providing after-sales services uh, to owners of solar systems in Uganda. Um, it, we are basically uh, the first company, I should say, that uh, is basically providing this kind of service. Uh, we've looked around while we're distributing solar systems to try and find who can provide the service, um, but we actually uh, didn't uh, find anyone. Uh, the next slide. Um, so, basically, essentially, what we do is we basically uh, our our basic our mission is to basically provide quick, low cost, and convenient after sell services across uh, the solar product value chain. Um, and when we say after sell service, we mean servicing, repairs, maintenance, uh, and spare parts. Um, and we provide these serv these services through uh, promoters and partners who are basically on the second level and who are also our secondary beneficiaries. Uh, so we work with the network of village technicians who are basically uh, people we recruit in villages who already exist there. They provide uh, radio and phone repair uh, services already, and then we basically provide them some basic training to do solar installations and after sales services. Microfinance institutions uh, and distributors all try to reach uh, people with new uh, solar technologies but struggle with uh, warranty periods, um, and so we basically get them to outsource that to us. And government has an interest uh, in basically giving access to clean energy uh, because the grid doesn't reach as far as they would like to. And through our be secondary beneficiaries, we reach our primary beneficiaries. We are who are bottom of the pyramid: households and small businesses, um, uh, as well as institutions such as hospitals, schools, uh, churches, and mosques, and middle-class households. So these are the guys who have the solar systems installed in their households and who uh, we basically actually provide the after sales service to. Um, and as we do that, um, our our aim is to basically see that we can boost markets for solar products um, and also create jobs for youth, and which will ultimately lead to economic growth. Next slide. Um, so this is what uh, positions us uniquely uh, for this role of after sale service. So Village Energy has actually worked across uh, the product value chain. Um, and we actually started way back in 2009 by locally manufacturing solar systems, as you'll see in the picture. Um, and we manufactured the solar systems in-house and distributed them uh, through uh, different methods. Uh, we physically went uh, and conducted uh, community uh, seminars, we worked with distributors, and we also worked with in, in partnerships with, with microfinances, three of which have, have been listed there. Um, and one of the things that we consistently uh, had a problem with was uh, after sales services, because when you open up a distribution, you, do, you do not determine where your customer necessarily comes from. People travel from up to 200 kilometers away from, uh, from where you're located, and they they want to purchase a solar system. Uh, the trouble is that when they get a problem with the solar system, when it either malfunctions or they mishandle the product and it doesn't work anymore, then there's a problem you know, shipping the product back. Customers take up to eight weeks before they get their products back. Uh, a lot of distributors do not want to deal with uh, after sales because it's very costly, it's cumbersome, and it's not what they're good at. Uh, so having worked across uh, that product value chain basically gave us a good insight into the importance of providing after sales services. Um, and this is the reason why we pivoted uh, to, to working exclusively in after sales. Next slide. Uh, I believe the next slide is going to be about uh, the market analysis. Uh, so one of the issues that we face is uh, there's a critical lack of information regarding after sales services in the country. But what we managed to scrape, uh, to scrape together came from uh, what we call the Rural Electrification Agency in Uganda. 
Um, and what we managed to put together is, uh, on average, in the last five years, uh, about 400,000 solar systems were sold in Uganda. Um, uh, and half of those uh, basically experienced some sort of failure within the first six to eight months of being installed or even being sold. So this is partially because customers are not handling the products well, partially because, you know, some products, you know, uh, have defects. Um, but we also learned that 100% of all of these solar systems will require some sort of uh, part replacement uh, within the first 18 months. It's most likely going to be the solar battery uh, because those usually last between 18 to uh, 24 months. Um, however, uh, what was worrying was that up to 70% of those solar systems never get any sort of after cell service and remain inactive. We've, we've seen some solar products that have worked only three months uh, and basically they were never uh, they were never active. But, uh, on the practical side, when we were still installing solar systems and distributing them, every time we went for an installation, we got uh, somewhere between three to five uh, people in the community who came to us and told us, please come and take a look at my solar system. Um, it hasn't been working for a while. Um, so the other fact that we found is that there were over 10 strong distributors uh, of solar systems that require after sales service partners. Um, and this is mainly outsourcing warranties. Because every solar product they sell, uh, they give some sort of warranty between six, and, six months and one year. Um, and our rough estimation is about $40 million a year uh, after sale market. Um, and what, what people want from the after sales is to basically get a more re reliable uh, energy source to replace diesel and kerosene, uh, both of which are very expensive. Uh, the next slide. Uh, so you may have uh, read information, if you read information prior when we were applying, uh, we were still doing a little bit of, uh, we were still in the middle of transition between after sales and, uh, and what we were doing before. Um, but what we also find to be optimistic is that uh, there is a growing number of distributors every year. There is a new player that enters into the market, uh, at least in Uganda, and I'm sure in, in, in the entire East African region basically distribute. They don't necessarily come in with a new product, but they come in with new methods of distribution. Um, there's a big uh, tax waiver on importation of solar equipment by government, so you can import any solar solar panels, solar batteries, anything that uh, is related to solar, uh, tax-free. Um, and there's a large, talented, but unemployed pool of youth uh, in the country. Um, some of them uh, have started their own small initiatives, uh, such as the radio and phone repairment that we find, who already exist and have some sort of address. Uh, some basically don't have, you know, are not working and they basically need to be picked up. The, the obstacles that we're facing is uh, still recruiting and training employees, especially managers for rural areas. A lot of people uh, don't really find it attractive to work in rural areas. Um, but uh, with, uh, with the examples that we've had, uh, we are basically gaining ground on this, you know, and showing them how lucrative it can be how, you know, uh, their work can make a difference uh, to people who are working in rural areas. Um, but also the challenge is as we enter into a uh, partnership with distributors is that our distribution network that we, that we have doesn't match the distribution network of our, of our distributors currently. So when they get into a contract with you, they don't want you to provide uh, warranty services in only the areas that you're working, but also um, in the in the other areas where they have their clients. The next slide. Um, so those are those are some of the enablers and, and the obstacles that uh, that we have faced that, that we see. Uh, so what you see here is a value chain uh, of how we basically create value, how we deliver uh, to the various uh, set of customers. Uh, it all begins with our suppliers. Uh, so previously uh, we've been working with the local suppliers, but we hope to start working with international uh, buying directly uh, from. Uh, from manufacturers, solar panels, batteries, and that hugely lowers the cost of, uh, of our spare parts. Uh, we get into partnership with, um, with, uh, with distributors uh, in warranty contracts. Uh, those are signed uh, at the headquarter level, but implemented at the regional office. Um, and one of the issues that I told you about is the fact that we cannot, uh, we currently are not uh, matching their distribution channels. What we've done is we've created what we call solar camps, which is an idea we generated from uh, medical camps uh, that doctors run, 
where they basically pitch in pitch camp in a place and provide uh, quick uh, emergency services. So we pitch camp in, uh, in different villages uh, and we basically call up people to bring uh, their products. So if you have a product that's on warranty, you just need to come with the product with your warranty card. If the warranty is valid, then it will be fixed for free and then we basically charge uh, the company for the service that we did. Uh, but if you have a product that is off warranty, we also still have a section that will provide uh, that warranty. It's also at the uh, that provide the service for uh, for the product that is off warranty. We also provide um, training for other village technicians during the solar camp. Um, on the other side, uh, our other revenue source is we basically uh, charge uh, after sales service contracts. We send get into contracts with. Uh, middle-class households, uh, institutions, uh, hotels, uh, banks, hospitals, and they basically provide us, they basically pay us up front, and then we provide them preventive uh, maintenance. Uh, so they're entitled to four visits a year uh, to basically uh, make sure that their solar systems are running throughout the year. So that's the aim, to make sure that people's solar systems run throughout the year and they can get the actual value uh, for which they invested. Um, so below uh, are some of the, the trained village technicians um, who are basically in constant communication with, with, with the regional office. So at the regional office, we have hired village energy technicians who train and work closely with village technicians. And it's through the village technicians that we reach the bottom of the pyramid households and small businesses. So they are not our franchisees, but we basically provide them the skill and then they create a market. So each of them is situated in a village on average, a village has about 100 households. Uh, so they basically have uh, that pool of clients to basically work you know, on their own. And it is uh, through that loyalty program. Uh, we can move to the next slide, uh, Hali. So, so it's, it's through that loyalty program uh, that they basically come back to us and purchase uh, the parts uh, in case the household needs to replace uh, a part at the bottom uh, that either it's damaged or... Uh, or simply needs replacement. Uh, so this is basically uh, what our projections are over the next five years. Um, we basically hope to, uh, and th at the next slide, uh, I'll show you how we've been progressing. But we basically need hope to basically turn over about uh, half a million dollars uh, in business in the total of uh, all our businesses. Um, we can move to the, uh, to the next slide, Hali, uh, but uh, it shows you what kind of growth uh, that, that we basically anticipate uh, if you look at the net earnings. Uh, so we pulled out basically one unit, uh, and this is basically the warranty, uh, the warranty services. It was the easiest to explain, uh, where a distributor basically gets into a contract with us, uh, and we basically implement uh, the actual. So basically when a distributor gets into, into contract with us, they basically send everyone who has a problem and is on warranty to Village Energy. Um, and we basically determine where the customer is located and they basically get serviced uh, there. Um, so we basically, they basically walk into uh, our office. So we have some working customers uh, for whom we basically provide uh, fixing. If it's a small problem to fix, basically just fix it as they wait. Uh, but if there is, if it's a, it's a much bigger problem, for example, there's a part that we need to order, uh, then uh, we basically ask them to go back and we can basically send uh, the product back to them. Or we service them through uh, the solar camps uh, in areas where we don't have a physical presence. Um, so uh, our cost, roughly, uh, is we invest about $3 uh, to basically fix uh, a product on warranty. So this is a product that uh, has either been, uh, has, has either worked in um, or uh, a product we, we service at, uh, at a solar camp, uh, but we're charging $6 annually for the warranty period. Um, yeah, next next slide. Uh, so this, this is basically what we, these are our critical success factors, uh, and the most notable of them uh, is our ability to bring in high quality uh, products of warranty. Uh, with high, 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 to basically bring in high, high quality products. Uh, so we, we are very careful on how we select uh, the people to partner with. We can't partner with every brand because some brands have uh, problematic uh, products. Um, in, terms of, uh, in terms of human resource, 
uh, finding the right people uh, to to be in the village energy team, the right attitude, uh, the patients to train village technicians until they are they are the right age, uh, they, they are the right uh, they have the right skill and can be independent, and also getting that that number in critical numbers of village technicians, um, and, and, and also the quality of spare parts that we import. Next slide. Uh, so this is basically our board. Uh, we, we can move to the next slide. Uh, but we have uh, some really experienced uh, people uh, in uh, to, to basically dealing with the law and also helping us with operations. This is our this is our core team. Uh, we can we can move to the next slide. Uh, we have all had uh, great experience working either in renewable energies or uh, working um, uh, working in, in the actual solar space. Uh, so this is how we've progressed since we launched Village Energy in 2009 with $5,000 with my business partner, uh, who is also the part of the board. Uh, we got uh, grant financing, and uh, our first uh, investors were angel investors who were also shareholders. Uh, and then we got grant financing, and um, we basically progressed until 2013, uh, where we turned we averaged a turnover of about $120,000. Um, but we're looking for about $250,000. Uh, to basically raise that turnover to about 500,000 five years from when we raise that money. We can move into the next slide. Uh, so this is basically uh, our metrics. Uh, so what we need to put in are quality parts, uh, need to get in strong partnerships with distributors, um, and uh, basically uh, build uh, a sort of distribution network, but what we really mean is basically find more and more village technicians who are already doing their businesses and training them. Uh, and we do that by doing the solar camps, uh, capacity building, which is training for the village technicians and providing the after sales services. And the outcome that we expect uh, or that we are having currently is that network of resident village technicians uh, who are basically consistently providing the after sales service and ordering spare parts um, and also serviced and fully functioning solar systems, especially the ones that we provide on service contracts uh, for middle class households and institutions. And the impact is we expect to reach about 100,000 people uh, or about 20,000 solar systems uh, that are serviced uh, over the next three to five years uh, and created about 200 jobs uh, uh, for the trainers, uh, for village technicians that were not previously doing their own uh, But also expect to have an improved adoption of uh, solar products in rural areas because of the confidence that uh, rises from having a village technician that is next door, that is resident, that you can go to any time. Uh, next slide, Hali. Uh, so basically, in summary, uh, there's, we feel there's a clear market gap uh, with a demonstrated need for service, um, and Village Energy has five years' experience in both distributing solar units and providing some sort of after-sales, informal after-sales service program, uh, we think this the return on uh, the social return on investment will be uh, will be quite high, um, as well as uh, a return on investment for investors. Uh, and we're sitting uh, two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars to reach about hundred thousand. Thank you.